Yep, Lloyd's Pawn Shop, how can I help you? Caught call from Lloydville Penitentiary. I know who this is. <laughs> yes, I accept. Hey, my friend. How's prison life treating you? You getting some good meals? Yeah. Oh, no, no, you weren't in work. No, I was just uh, checking some of these coins that somebody brought in. Yeah. How's the shop doing? Oh, the shop's doing great. I've been keeping it, you know. Keeping it the way you want it, yeah. And business, business has been all right. Sold a few things, gained a few things, yeah. I forget about it. It's no problem. It's what family's for. You got my back, I got your back. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no problem, I can do that. Absolutely. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> you yeah, I still... I don't want to talk too much about it on here, but, uh... You know, whoever, uh... Whoever snitched... Yeah. No. Don't know who it is yet. We you know we'll find out. This won't go unpunished, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, they don't give you much time, do they? All right, well, it was nice hearing from your cousin. You take care in there. I want your back. Now I'll do the same on here. And don't worry about the shop. I got it under control. All right. I well, was nice hearing from you. You stay safe, my friend. All right. Talking to you soon. Legit. Uh, 
This afternoon. You doing all right? Great, that's good to hear. So, uh, what can I do for you? You're looking to buy, you're looking to sell. What you got on your mind? You're looking to buy. No, uh, no, I'm just filling in for my cousin. He's currently in the slammer right now. Yeah, he's, he's serving a 10 year sentence uh, for fraud. <laughs> I don't know how much you've read in the, the paper. I think you're that new guy in town, aren't you? Yeah. So how you enjoying Lloydville so far? That's good to hear. Glad you like it our little town. Fortunately we got some people downtown that uh don't know how to keep their nose out of business, yeah. <laughs> Especially a, a certain judge. He's the one that put my cousin in the slammer. Yeah. Yeah, what comes around goes around. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about that? No, I mean sure, you know, there's some there's some shady things going on in town. Yeah, I've heard things, seen things. As of right now, I'm not gonna open my mouth about it, you know. I'm gonna keep it, <laughs> keep it hush hush. Yeah, uh, you know. Well, uh, we got all kinds of things here. Um, you know. And if you ever come across anything, uh, specifically gold or silver, you know, we do buy, yeah, we buy gold, we buy silver, jewelry, you know, you name it, we buy it. We also sell it as well. Now, just so you know, all sales are final and discreet. Uh, same thing with purchases, you know. Uh, you know, buying and selling. You know, we're not going to say anything if you want to keep things on the low end, you know. Uh, but, uh, 
Well, uh, let me show you what I got. You know, some of the things. Well, what are you interested in? Because I could sit here all day and show you things. Watches. Okay. Some jewelry. All right. Now, is this for yourself? Or do you got a lady friend? To a lady friend. All right. We got we got uh, we got some beautiful necklaces, pearl necklaces, we got gold necklaces, silver necklaces. Beautiful looking stone necklaces of sword. Like I said, you name it, we got it. Let me start off with uh, some jewelry. Okay? Let me get in here and my my secret stash and uh, show you some of our high-end jewelry. say you're not looking for pearls. Let's say you're looking for a gold necklace. Yeah, kind of like mine. <laughs> this, is, you know, this is pretty expensive. But uh, let me show you something. What's the price of this? Ah, I almost forgot. I give this to you for maybe about three hundred bucks. Not a necklace like this would at least go for six. So I'd be giving you a deal. Alright, well, let me show you the cool necklace. We can always come back to this, you know. Legit. 
Now this, yeah, this necklace is very heavy. But, you know, it's going to show elegance and power and, uh, and wealth. You know, you go to a, a day out on the town and uh, <laughs> you're definitely going to get looks, that's for sure. And I'll tell you what. I'll even uh, throw in this gold bracelet. Yeah, take a look at these. These diamonds. You see that? 100% legit. Diamonds. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. But I'm gonna throw it in and give you a deal. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred bucks for both. The bracelet alone goes for at least a thousand. You think about it, ah, you won't regret it, and your lady friend, she'll absolutely love it. I'll just sit this over here then, and I'll put this back down. this silver chain necklace that goes with it kind of uh, you know adds a little pizzazz to it it's not just a pearl necklace but it's also a silver necklace yeah I'll tell you what It's just a, a silver bracelet. You know, no diamonds, no pearls. Just 100% silver. Um, but it's very beautiful. And it would go great with this necklace. Uh, no, this is not the only size. Uh, it actually expands. So, you know. They can fit any size wrist. So just like that. Yeah. 
you think about it. Okay. Sit down to the side as well. Your lady friend like earrings by any chance? She does? Alright, okay. How about this? The last pearl necklace I just showed you. Not only will I throw in that bracelet, but I'll throw in these diamond earrings with it too. Watches, yes, okay. Let's move on to the watches then. Now, what kind of watches are you looking for? Or watch? You're looking for like a, a black band, or brown, leather, metal, rubber. Silver. Okay. Let me pick a couple out. Show them to you. See what you think. Let me just get a few for you. Now before I show you these watches here. Let me just get these coins out of the way. Alright. these well one's from uh, one's from India and the other one is a pirate's doubloon you interested in pirates well then I got something else that I need to show you if you like pirates I'll show you this coin but I got something really interesting that I think you might like. I guess so let me put these coins away first. Okay, so before we get to the watches, which we will, let me show you this. some pirate ship. I don't know where it came from, but somebody brought it in, wanted to sell it. I guess they're, they're buying their kid uh, a car for college or something. So, you know, I checked it out. It's 100% legit. And look, it even has the, the skull and crossbones on it. And it's got some kind of writing, but I can't, I can't, uh, can't figure it out. It looks like it says Pro Depths. Oh, good. Something or other. I don't know. But this here. This is a real pirate's ring. This ring. 
Sir Francis Drake. Yeah. I swear. It's legit. It says on it. Sick Parvis Magna. You know what that means? It means from small beginnings. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome ring to have. Take a look at it. On the inside, there's even some engraving as well. I can't really figure out what it says, but there's a few numbers there. Uh, let me see here. See if I can't tell you what it says here. Looks like it says 9, 12, 7, 9, 2, 9. So, I don't know what that is. A combination of some giant safe or pirate gold, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> One could only hope, right? Yeah. I agree. But I'll tell you what. I'll give you these two. The coin and the ring. 500 bucks. Okay. Uh, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Now let's put these watches. Oh, I'm sorry. Like these keys. Oh, there's an interesting story behind those. to see them. Okay. Okay. These keys are very heavy and very old. Now, before I tell you the story about these, uh, you know, let me just show you. You get one, two, three, four, five. A set of five skeleton keys. Now, they are a little bit rusty. Yeah, I agree. But, and I'm going to lay them down here. The story behind these keys. So I had a customer come in. I think it was about three or four days ago. He brought these keys in. As well as a couple other things. But he said that he needed to sell these keys no real reason why. He said it was important that he got rid of them. He also said there's only two sets of these keys anywhere in the world. Two sets. That's it. He said that. He said they belonged to some old church out in the woods, right here, in our little town. Now, you know, <laughs> I've heard, uh, I've heard stories, rumors, gossip about uh, 
Uh, I, you didn't hear this from me. And this is where our discretion policy will come into play. Do you agree? Okay. Now, I have heard stories about this uh, church in the woods. I guess it's uh, really old. It's been around for like forever. Like since like the 1800s or something like that. But uh, I heard there's a lot of sketchy things that go on in this church. Like meetings or something. Like a cult. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Apparently these keys open every door. Every, every little crevice in this church. So, you know, I, I only purchased it because, you know, because the guy was selling some other stuff. Otherwise, if he was just selling these keys, I never would have purchased them. Now, what am I going to do with keys to an old church, right? Yeah, exactly. Nothing. What do I need them for? But, uh, you know, what's your big interest in them? And you're new here to Lloydville. You don't really have any purpose for these. <laughs> maybe, maybe the historical society might have interest in these keys, but I don't see how someone like you or me, you know, would uh, really be showing too much interest. Decorative purposes, okay. I'm by that. Yeah, completely uh, blew my mind. Didn't even think of that. Well, uh, what's that? What else did he bring in? <laughs> you don't want to know. Then again, maybe you do. I kind of want to get it out of my shop. Let me show you. With these keys, he sold me this. He said it's some kind of uh, a whistle of some sort. I don't know. What do I look like? A historian? Do you? I, I just, I just buy things and sell things. Okay. I don't know what this is. It's a what? An Aztec death whistle? I don't even know if I want it. Get it out of here. <laughs> if you want it, you know, the lot's yours. Things are getting a little strange here. You can take the whistle and you can take the keys and enjoy. I, I had no idea what it was when I bought it. I just thought it looked like it would sell. What do you mean does it belong to the church? Does that thing look like it belongs to a church to you? What are you talking about? I don't know. Thing looks creepy. Belongs to a church, I don't know. How much do I want for it now? I paid seven. Seven hundred bucks. Give it to you for five, because I just want it out of here. I, it was a mistake buying this thing if I would have known that. And take them both. Good, here, get it out. That's absolutely fine. Like I said, 
or completely discreet. You ain't gonna tell anybody that I've been telling you stuff about this uh, whole thing. I don't want no problems. Okay. Well, uh, let me just get these out of the way here. So I can show you these watches. these things anymore. Uh, okay. So you said a gold-faced watch, brown leather straps. Okay. Well, I got two here that I'd like to show you. First one I got that I want to show you. This one right here. This is a very beautiful watch. And it's quite old as well. I think it's from at least, uh, Maybe the 20s to say the 60s. But look at this. Very beautiful watch. Very beautiful leather strap. It's a darker brown. But I mean, look at the face on this watch here. Beautiful gold. And I if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a porcelain face as well. Let me take a look here. Yes, it is. It's a uh, porcelain. And it's made by Emmerich Mearson of Paris, France. It's a very beautiful one. And the second watch that I have to show you is this one here. And this one is made by uh, Picard and Chai. Now, this has a lighter color of brown, but still a very beautiful leather strap. And as for the watch face itself, you can see it has a darker gold and a lighter gold face with blue Roman numerals. Very beautiful watch. Uh, let me see here. Wrong side. I'm still a little creeped out about that thing. <laughs> I guess that don't teach me to buy things without knowing what they are, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's 30 meters water resistant. And it's 24 karat gold. You like this watch? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm even going to sweeten the deal for you. You know what goes really well with a watch? A bracelet. Like the one I'm wearing here. See this bracelet? 24 karat gold. I'm going to throw a bracelet in there for you. Now, take a look at this. This is a 14 karat gold and a silver. Now, wouldn't this go well together? Watch on one wrist bracelet on the other. You'll be styling. They are very beautiful watches, yes. You change your mind. You want the whistle and the keys only. Well, I mean, uh, you know, normally I'd be 
be a little upset about this. But hey, I'm just happy to get rid of these keys and that creepy whistle. Consider them yours. Well, will that be uh, cash or cash? Because we don't accept credit here. And we don't like the uh, the paper trail. The credit cards kind of leave behind. Cash. Okay. Good choice. Henry, well, let me get you your, your creepy whistle. There it is. And here's your creepy keys to go with it. Uh, you know, I hope you have... Uh, pieces, right? Yeah. Uh, unless you're planning to go and look for this church. Okay, just decorative pieces. Okay. Well, you enjoy. Uh, I'll be happy that they're out of my shop. So, you enjoy your, your creepy decorations. And uh, sounds like the rain has stopped. So I uh, hope you uh, get to enjoy the rest of your day as well. And thanks for uh, shopping at Lloyd's Pawn Shop. We uh, really appreciate your business. Yeah, you're very welcome. Right, you take care now. <laughs>